Data is numbers. So what is happening inside a computer? Let's think about it. A computer has a CPU and memory inside it. CPU is a short of central processing unit. Memory is storage space. As just mentioned, various types of data are stored in this unit as numbers. Yes, you might have been except, expect, expecting more. It's true that the printer and monitor may be attached to a computer, and it is connected to the internet. This interaction with the exterior is very important. But in this lecture, we will focus on what is happening within a computer. Then what we need is to consider is memory and CPU. Let's start with memory. Memory is a box that stores data, that is numbers. It's arranged like so. CPU takes data from this memory and performs basic operations. You might be wondering what basic operations are. That is, fundamental unit of computation, like atoms. Let's think about that. In fact, this point, that is, the question of what are basic operations, has been studied deeply by several mathematicians from the 1930s to 1940. They thought about what corresponds to the atoms in computation. When you decompose objects uh, automatically, you will get to the molecules and atoms. If you keep whittling down and decomposing things truly necessary for computation, you end up with basic operations. Turing was the one of the mathematicians uh, who came up with that. In fact, it is said that his investigation gives an important influence to the innovation of current computers. Let us consider, for our example, one set of basic operations that can be regarded as basic operation. That is, repetition of plus and one, minus one. We know that this is all you need, all you need. We will see uh, this later, but uh, the action of consisting of a uh, certain repetition of plus one and minus one makes it possible to do addition and subtraction, uh, those calculations. Further, combining addition and subtraction lets us do multiplication and division calculations. Therefore, we can then calculate with the four arithmetic operations. Then we can combine these four arithmetic operations to calculate more difficult functions such as roots, square, square roots, and sine. Then we can also do, for exa example, uh, pathfinding. Furthermore, we can make computation for playing Go or Shogi with us, human. To sum things up, computer, computation, computer is performing basic operations, and then if we skillfully combining them, we can make computations. You might be wondering who provides instructions for these comp computations. A program. A program provides instructions. It carries the meaning uh, instructions for computation. Programs also happens to be stored in a memory. In fact, programs are uh, one type of data. Following the program given in a memory, computer achieves required computations. Let's summarize. A computational view is an approach to ex express everything with computation. For this, Things must be expressed as data. Furthermore, they must be processed as a computation. We will consider that data in this course as numbers, natural numbers. So what is the computation? Thinking of the ultra basic elements of, of co computation correspond to, that correspond to atoms, we get the repetition of plus one and minus one. Data is numbers, and basic operations are the repetition of plus one and minus one. Computation is combining just these, two, these items to do a variety of things. 
That is what is achieved in computer. In reality, data is constantly coming in from the keyboard and internet. This is expressed as numbers, and computation is performed on it. Then uh, goes outside again, and it's repeated. Programs provide instruction for this computation. It corresponds to a so-called blueprint for computation. I hope you gain the broad idea of what is going on inside of computers.